as well, I dropped some kilos, but also it's increasing the muscle mass. Shoulders are broader. I can uh, concentrate for hours without uh, feeling hungry or feeling uh, annoyed. I don't want to feel this uh, frustration that I don't know, I go out and I can't have a glass of wine or uh, if I have a piece of chocolate, I'm going to feel guilty. Welcome back. Robin Good here. And I have the pleasure of having a little chat here with one of my clients, Radu. Who we wanted to bring on to share his experience a little bit, see the results that he also achieved, and um, just give you a little bit more insight, what changed for him, how does life look like for him right now. So first of all, Radu, thanks for taking the time. Um, do you want to introduce yourself quickly? Yeah, so uh, I'm uh, Radu. I'm uh, based in uh, Switzerland. I'm uh, around 40. I have uh, more or less, let's say, a static job. So I work in uh, computer science. I also have a family. So yeah, there are... Uh, one of the reasons why I joined uh, this program is because uh, limited time mm -hmm. and then uh, I want to achieve results without, uh, for example, spending too much time researching on my own or dedicating endless hours to, I don't know, fitness or something like that. So what was the problem that you've experienced before you joined the program? So uh, there were two uh, two things. One was, uh, even though I was training, so I'm, uh, I was doing and I'm still doing some martial arts, I was uh, plateauing. I didn't see much results anymore. Um, and uh, as I grow, um, let's say, more experienced, higher in this, uh, I felt the need to have also better fitness level, not just uh, technique. And I didn't know exactly how to how to go forward. And uh, second is, even though I was training and I was, uh, let's say, fairly active, uh, I was gaining some kilos. I used to be around, let's say, 70 something. And then I reached about 76, 77 without uh, actually decreasing from there. And how did the like frustration felt like for you when you try to solve the problem by yourself? Well, there are various articles and uh, you find, for example, a lot of people on YouTube posting uh, videos. What I found was uh, two types, which didn't help. One is, for example, demanding something which is uh, unrealistic or, as I said, uh, you know, somebody with family, with job. I mean, of course, I know if I would put, I don't know, 20 hours of uh, intense fitness per week, of course, I would reach that. But that's something which is not possible with a full time job and uh, family. So I uh, sort of discarded immediately these people who tell you, yeah, you have to train like I'm a professional athlete. Yeah, I know. If you train like a professional athlete, you're going to have the body of a professional athlete. The only problem is you're past the age of 20 something and you don't have the time of a professional athlete. And the uh, second is um, then you find the other people who, uh, for example, advise you on, I don't know, having a diet. And I have to say, I'm not a super fan of eating only salad and a little piece of meat the whole day. And then I'm tired and then I can't do anything. So I was searching for something, let's say, in the middle. Where, okay, I know I increase my uh, level of activity, my fitness, I maybe uh, take a little bit of a look at what I eat, but still I don't want to feel this uh, frustration that I don't know, I go out and I can't have a glass of wine or uh, if once a week I have a piece of chocolate, I'm going to feel guilty that, oh my God, I had a piece of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Never. We always want to have the chocolate in there. <laughs> Obviously, we got that in contact together. What was your biggest skepticism before joining the program? Well, like always, you're not sure if it's going to work for you because everybody tells you, yeah, this is a tried let's say recipe, but you always feel like, yeah, is it really working for everybody? Or was he lucky to have, I don't know, five or 10 people or 20 people who actually followed everything and uh, it worked? You you don't know what were the previous clients. I mean, were they, for example, my age, my situation, or were they completely different? This sort of depends. But uh, then I saw that, yeah, actually it works for everybody. You have, of course, different results based on the discipline that you put in and the effort you put. But as long as you stick to the program, there is no requirement that you have to be a, a certain type or you have to do. So this is one thing I like that is quite flexible to realize that, yeah, different people have different needs, some weaknesses, some strengths, and you have to work with what the, the guy is offering and can do. Mm -hmm. Totally. And then obviously... You joined and take us to the moment where you realized that the program was actually working for you. Well, pretty fast because uh, since uh, I keep track, <laughs> then uh, you see immediately that. Uh, and uh, actually for me, the most uh, surprising was that I wasn't hungry. So uh, after now I'm uh, quite some months in the program, I, I never went to bed, for example, hungry. I rarely have the feeling that my energy level dips. 
So I can, uh, I can train, I can focus in the office, I can uh, concentrate for uh, hours without uh, feeling hungry or feeling uh, annoyed. What kind of changes have you noticed in your body since we started putting the right workout routine and the right uh, nutrition protocol in for you? Well, first of all, I, since I track, I saw I dropped some kilos and it's not just dropping the kilos, but also it's increasing the muscle mass. And this I can see, for example, I don't necessarily have to go to the, to weight myself anymore. I can see, so on the jeans, I lost like uh, two numbers, the shirt, I can see that, uh, you know, the shoulders are a little bit uh, broader, that my uh, chest, uh, muscle chest and back chest are quite good. And that helped also for the posture. So I feel like uh, my back, for example, when I, I don't know, I work or I walk on the street or something, my back is definitely in a better position. So it's not just, uh, it's not just muscles. But having a pretty sedentary work, I used to have, uh, for example, sometimes the lower back, you know, you feel like uh, it's actually not so good. We're sitting so much uh, on the chair. I started to work now maybe twice a week. I work standing and uh, again, they also like better posture. So awesome. One last thing. Imagine your best friend is on the fence and he like, he also wants to take care of himself, like get in better shape, pull the trigger, you know, but, but he's unsure. Like he's like literally like on the fence. Like what would you tell him? It's quite normal to be skeptical. This is with everything. But when you hear the success story of many, you have to think that, yeah, I mean, if it worked for so many, then you can do it as well. So again, Radu, thanks for taking the time. I think this is like really inspiring for others to see that it is possible. Um, wherever you start, what, you, what your goal is, um, and your transformation is just another example of uh, how successful you can be. So thanks again, Robin Good and Radu out.